how to create a checkout page in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create and add a checkout page into your Wix website. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you are going to uh, set here the website or you're going to create a new website if you don't have one. Usually if it is the first time that you have visited or created an account within Wix, you're going to get the access to this specific page, which will help you create your own website by choosing a template or get the help of the AI. So once you have created your website, you'll get a site dashboard as this one. So here we have the site dashboard and we have the website that we have created. So we are going to select one of the websites that we have. Then we are going to set up the uh, website itself. Any of the websites can be or can have a checkout page. So let's say that we have a portfolio or an artist website. So we are going simply to add the uh, specific uh, checkout page or we can add a store to it. So here we are on the Wix, as you can see, a dashboard of the specific website. We're going to visit here or click on the edit site. Now you are going to see the Wix website editor loading up your website. Let it take your time or take the time necessary to load up. Then we are going to add the modification to it. So as you can see, we have here our website fully load up. Now, all we need to do is to head over the uh, apps. This is the first thing. Click on apps and make sure to add Wix stores. This is the first step that we need to do. So we are going to search on the apps to Wix stores. Wix stores. Then we are going to see here the professional e-commerce platform to sell online. Make sure to add this specific area or this specific extension. I'm going to click on add it again and let you see here the steps that is going to show up. So once you have added the store right here, you're going to see here the page of the store. So we have here all the products added. These are the sample products that has been integrated within the store. So we are going to click here on the pages. And as you can see, we have here the store pages. We have here the product page and we have the category page. When you click on the product page, you're going to head over the product itself. We have the buttons, the buy now button and etc. You can see here the product info. You can go ahead and select the product from here. As you can see, we have here a universal or a standard product. You can go ahead and visit the product. For example, you are going to click on manage product. It will uh, show up here the dashboard. This is uh, the first thing. It will show you here all the product and the inventory. So we are going to set up here everything and wait for everything to load up. Here you can add a product then set up the product here you have the ability to add a physical or a digital product so we have here the uh, info we have the title description and etc so the pricing is on uh, here on the position of it so we have here the as you can see everything we have the product options the inventory, the stock, and etc. When you finish everything, you are going to click on save. Now we are going to head back the uh, dashboard. So we are going to head over here the settings, click on settings. Then we are going to see here at the store and products, inventory, and we have the subject of today's video, which is the checkout. We are going to head over the checkout. We have the checkout form the uh, subscription opt-in checkbox. We are going to edit here the uh, checkout form. We have a checkout form composer. As you can see here, this is the preview of it. So we are going to see here the order summary and etc. 
you can add here some default fields like uh, the email the first name last name the phone number the delivery details like the country address city and zip code you can create a custom field for here we have some uh, choices right there to add uh, whatever you are going to add from here you can add for example here the a header or a text to it this is how we can customize the checkout when you finish this you're going to see here the preview of course and this can lead to the secure checkout which is saving and getting the uh, uh, payment method uh here information so we are going to be back right there to the checkout we have the checkout header so we have here the checkout header you can modify the checkout header so you can add a name or a logo to it for example let's go ahead and add a logo to it now we can go ahead and add here the logo from here from our business infos I'm going back here back to the checkout then we can see here that we have uh, the policies you can enable these policies right there you can enable the terms and conditions add them privacy policy return policy and the a custom policy if you want for here you can go ahead and uh, set up the policy agreement checkbox the contact us right there you are going to add for example any email jack at gmail uh, right there dot com here we have the phone number you can go ahead and add a phone number for example like that you can add a country for example friends maybe the address Paris this is just an example business name Jack's clothing for example and then for the payment you can go ahead and add some invoices or gift cards you can add the gift cards and finally we have the order emails you can edit the email right there and make sure that after the submission of the payment or the after payment uh, here uh, process you are going to get a, a email for the customers so you can check here uh, the confirmation or the order confirmation for them you can check or uncheck that also you can go ahead and edit the uh, the email confirmation or the order confirmation you can add or set the automation of sending an email about the shipping confirmation you can also resend the download links if it is a digital product here as you can see we are going to click on preview and this is the digital products you can obviously add a digital product into the store of Wix and here we have also the notification or the email of the ready for pickup so you can go ahead and add that add or show email or whatever you want from these decks and after that you are going to preview it right here as you can see so when you finish everything you are going to add or you have already or officially set up your checkout when you go ahead here you are going to see or on the website you are going to visit here at the uh, as you can see here we have a cart and thank you page we have the cart page you can also uh, go ahead and modify the design of the cart page like that we're going to see here the uh, cart page and you can go ahead and set the uh, cart as a uh, continuous process for the final destination which is the checkout page so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one